Hello everybody and welcome back to Green River with Chainsaw 100. So as you can see, Chainsaw is just heading out to the field which we cut in the previous episode. It is a grass field, uh, I think he did actually ted it at the end of his time lapse, so it's ready to bail. Uh, we do actually have a variety of different lorries to move the bales with, but it would be nice to use the new mod which has come out, it came out yesterday. Um, in fact by the same creator as this map, which is uh, interesting, definitely worth putting onto this map. So we have here the MAN TGS 18500 square bale auto stacker. You can also get it as a round bale auto stacker, but yeah, we're going to have square. So let's just customize this. I'm going to use this for any other future field as well for, for bales. Uh, the lorries are more for carting grain, the other lorries which we currently have. So let's just go and choose a good color setup. I always find it difficult to choose a good color setup. Let's just see here. I always do think that the onyx color looks good. Um, and then this is the difficult part. What color should the cab be? Hmm, that color would go quite well with a muck spreader or something. It's a bit of a poop. It's actually called dirt brown. Um, crimson. I don't use many of these colors actually. Purple. <laughs> these are the more unusual colors. Uh, garlic. I think we're just going to have to go with something more standard like blue. The blue looks quite good. Actually, when it's out of the store, it should look even better. So we're going to have the wheel brand. We'll go with Lizard. Uh, global positioning, engine setup. Do we need a turbo? Do we really need a turbo? I suppose we do. Okay. <laughs> Let's fit the turbo. Oh, before we do go, uh, rim colour. It's currently set to... What is that? Cream? Not too sure. We'll go with silver. Okay, so that is it. Let's go and pick it up from the store. We have many vehicles to tab through. I could tab back, but when I'm recording, for some reason it doesn't work. I have no idea why. Uh, we need to get those um, cotton pickers returned. So there we go. That is it. Looking good. We do have a beacon on the back, and we do have two beacons on the top of the cab as well. Uh, so I would imagine that by the time I've got to the field, Chainsaw will have already created quite a few bells for me to pick up. Now this is one of those uh, lorries where it actually loads the bells on top of the cab as well, so it really is utilising all the space available. Oh no, a slow car. I actually just drove over one of these cars once in one of my time-lapse videos. It got in the way, so I attempted to drive over it, and it went quite well. <laughs> it was uh, definitely spotted by my viewers. In fact, I think it was probably the top-rated comment. Anyway, it works. Sometimes you just feel like driving over them. Because in this game, they are so slow. Okay, so here he is. Let's just uh, wait for him to manoeuvre. So operating, we'll turn the beacons off. Operating position is B. And I could go up that side of the field. I will do. Let's see if it works. It should do. I have no doubt. Oh, it starts with the top. I think it's just a single layer that they put up there. Okay. I'm now corrected. It's a double layer. Now we've got the lower bed. So, yes, it was just half the field which was cut. But that is still going to give us plenty of hay because, well, the hay is for our own cows, but if we do have loads and loads of hay, we could sell it. But really, if, you, if you're going to go to the effort of uh, cutting the whole field, it's better to do silage. There's much more money in silage. So I'm very happy with the way this series is going so far. Oh, we'll pick up the straw bale last. Uh, yeah, I think it's very successful. We, we're actually making quite a bit of money, and that money hasn't been cheated. The majority of that is from the silage, and that reminds me... Oh no, yes, this is definitely going to be the last episode when I do this, but we do have... I'm going to have to tab to on here, I think. We do have the conveyor belts, and they should have f almost finished. They will have stopped. I do not want to see this thing working anymore. <laughs> we have to get it done. So, yeah, it's almost there. If we get that started up, should start to uh, hopefully. Okay, let's just stick it on a time lapse. Let's get this finished.
Well, there we have it. The whole of the silage pit has been moved, and it should sell the whole thing without stopping. It should do. We'll soon find out. It will be in this episode when we find out how much money we've actually made from uh, what has been sold in this day. In the previous day, we made one million pounds, I think. I think it's about 1.1 million. Very impressive stuff. Anyway, let's head back to here. I'm still filling up the uh, lorry with bales. Um, yes, it looks like the capacity is about, what are we on, about 24, is it, in total? 25-ish, not too sure. It won't take too long to fill. Maybe it's 26. Oh. Yep. Nope. Okay, 28. <laughs> it's 28. There we go. So, yeah, looks pretty good. Okay, so I've just picked up a trailer to make it a tandem. Uh, unfortunately, it's not an auto stacking trailer, but chainsaw is here to load. Uh, so it's like a, a human auto stacker. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we're just going to get this done. Obviously, it probably is faster to just keep going back to the yard and then coming back to auto stack. But then you kind of lose a bit of the fun. Auto stacking is definitely good, but. I think actually, as a setup as well, this would look even better as a tandem. It's just sort of geared towards, you know, front and back, having a trailer as well. I'll keep checking up on the uh, conveyor belt system, which has stopped, I think, and it hasn't finished. Why have you stopped again? There's 48,000 litres left. I think the, there is only one solution to this, and it's just to keep the bucket on the conveyor belt. It's the only way to keep it going. It just seems to keep lifting up for whatever reason. So it works. Just leave it like that. Really, it shouldn't take too long at all to pick up 48,000 litres. So we are almost there. We are very close to the end. So let's go back over to the field. With this, I have just basically dropped the bucket off. And the bucket is now weighing down the conveyor belt. I couldn't really afford to have the telehandler there, just as a weight. That would be a very expensive weight. And yeah, I need it anyway. I need this to uh, pick up those final bales. Here we are. Yep, so I think, really, the cows that we have, we do have quite a few cows. I would say one full trailer load will be plenty. Although, thinking about it, I think the last time we did silage bales, it took like an articulated trailer load. And that wasn't enough. Maybe we should store all of it to begin with and then see how we go. I think we do have quite a few. How many cows do we have? 51. Well, yeah, that's that's quite a lot of uh, animals to feed, especially with the amount that the cows eat. They do eat plenty. Um, now, chainsaw is just over there, creating a stack of four. Interesting. I'll have to do four as well. I usually do three, but it looks like that trailer probably is catering more to four. So, I find it's much easier to stack bells if you're the player hosting in multiplayer. I'm hosting. Now, if you're not the host, I always find that you do have a, a strange lag. Even if you have a really good internet connection and a good PC, you just always have this sort of jerky movement in everything. It's never smooth. So, for chainsaws, this is probably quite difficult. There we go. But for me, because it is all smooth. Nice and simple. It's 16,000 litres in those four bales. Uh, See, so yeah, it's not too much left actually. We won't even fill the trailer. Okay, so there we go, we are now fully loaded, well not fully loaded, but we have cleared the whole field. Uh, still plenty of space on the uh, on the back trailer there. So this is all going to be for using now, we're going we're gonna to feed the cows now. I should probably go first because, well, despite the, uh, the weight, we are much faster than the telehandler. 
So it is probably quite easy to flip the trailer, especially being four high. So I won't go too fast around these corners. Uh, it seems to be quite stable. You can just about see it. Yeah, I was trying to find a way of unloading the bales to the bed, uh, but I couldn't find a way. So I think they do just unload next to the lorry, unless you can somehow use the mouse to move them around like you can with some other mods. Oh, stuck behind the cars again. Come on. Right, this is where we need to be. So, I haven't really featured the feeding of the cows very much in this series. Chainsaw has done most of it. But the time has now come to do a bit. So that's where the mixture is. I think he did actually start the mixture, but then realised there wasn't actually any uh, hay. Yes, he did. <laughs> Uh, so it might be easier to start taking them off the rear, off the, off the back, off the trailer, I would have thought. So there we go. That seemed to create quite a bit of lag. Um, yeah, so he's got a straw bale, and then we've got the hay bales. Just leave it there. Uh, let's just fly up. Yeah, it's suddenly gone laggy for some reason. But the straw is just for padding it out. Obviously that bale was just a bonus, we just had it anyway in the baler. And then the hay is one of the main ingredients. Good ingredient. I don't know why it's gone laggy. I have no idea. Ooh, that's not good. Yes, I apologise for the lag, I really don't know why that is, but it seems to be calming down a bit anyway. So, here is the trough, as shown by a chainsaw. Put this into there. I can imagine they're going to take quite a bit. Um, so... Am I in the right place? There we go. Yes, I think it does take quite a lot. Yes, you can see we've got total metric ration 108,000 litres so far. Maximum capacity has to be something like 160,000. It's a fair amount of feed. But, yeah, the point is they do have a lot. They have about three quarters of a trough. So that should still last them about four days. There we go. So we'll put them back over here to fill up again. I'll make sure the silage is still selling over at the, uh, the BGA. And as soon as we're ready, we'll then elapse a bit of time and see how much we've made. Right, okay, so here is Chainsaw already with the bucket. A bit of silage that's going in. Uh, it would actually be useful if I brought back the other telehandler because then we could use one for the bales and one for the silage although that'll probably be more for next time and before I forget just return those because they're going to cost us quite a bit of money there we go everything else we'll probably use again yes so on the way back I'll drop by the BGA make sure everything's still going it really should have finished but you know what it's like it always likes to keep stopping taking a break. Right, so it is still selling. Usually whenever I get close to it, it stops, which is really weird. We won't get the machine too near. But there must be next to nothing left here. Look at that. In fact, that is the final piece. Are we actually going to witness the end? No, we have not witnessed the end, because the end is just about to go with the final conveyor belt. Actually, I think it's emptying nothing, because it finished ages ago. So we've just got a bit to process, not too much, we'll put it to times 5 to try and speed it up a bit. And then to tonight, at uh, midnight, we're going to get paid. So very, very good, that is very impressive. Silage just finished selling at the BGA. That's an achievement because that was about 1.1 million litres. And we've probably made about 2 million pounds from it. Very impressive. Very soon, we're going to be able to harvest those trees. This is the agroforestry field. They do get quite a bit larger, so it's not going to be just yet, but definitely within the series. And that next crop as well is getting close to being ready. I'm just wondering if the crop growth is switched off, because it didn't seem to be changing. Yes, it's off. So <laughs> there we go. It's going to definitely help if we do speed up a bit, but even slow, does tend to be quite fast in this game. 
I've noticed that if you if you got it set to slow, if you start drilling a big field, the bit that you started in, the first section of the field, will already have started growing before you finish the field. And that's on the slowest growth. So anyway, here we are. So that is another full mixture. Very good. And we've got our own silage pit here as well, with almost 200,000 litres in it. Chainsaw is doing the uh, straw and silage. I've got three hay bales here. I'm told that is the correct figure. Yeah, I have no idea why we have this frame rate issue all of a sudden. It was fine. Maybe we've brought way too many machines. Although I've not really had a problem with machines before. Maybe it's the bells, who knows? I know that having too many bells can cause lag. Right, okay, so here goes the first three. And then we've got silage on top. It's like creating the mixture for a cake. I've got all the ingredients here. It's a fairly simple cake, but even so. Okay, so there we go, we have another load to put into the trough. Although it must be very close to full now. Uh, that should fill it, it really should do. So we don't have to touch the hay and the silage because, um, and the grass, because it's not necessary. Total mix ration is 100% effective, so we don't actually need anything at all. Nowhere near as laggy out here. I would say it's definitely because we've got all those bales and stuff in the yard, all the machines. And that still didn't fill it amazingly, but they have so much. Ah, oh, look at the agroforestry field from up here. It looks so good. If we did the same thing to this field here, well, that actually was a section of this field, but if we covered the whole field in trees and crops, it would be quite an impressive sight. And it's such a, a uniform planting we've got here. They're all exactly the same distance apart. It looks good. And I, I can't really see why it wouldn't work that well in real life. I know that some farmers do this, um, I suppose actually you can see the amount of shade that is being cast from these trees, so that is a, a problem, I suppose. But, yeah, if, even if it was just one field that had this idea, it helps. We've, got, we've then got more trees, and you still have the crops. Okay, so it's now time to sell the silage. Let's see how much we can make. It's all processed, despite it's still, still coming out of the conveyor belt. Must be a glitch. If you get into it and get out, I think it stops. There we go. Uh, so, it is uh, quarter past eight at night. We're almost there. Uh, it's a full moon behind the cloud somewhere. Now, this is going to be very impressive. We are suddenly going to have this massive cash injection. Uh, it's going to probably be... Well, actually, I can't really guess. I have no idea. We've already had over a million pounds in from this same silage, so I would say we're going to get another 700,000, at least. We'll see how correct I am. It might be another million. Here we go. 832,000 pounds. Very good indeed. Okay, so... That's really good. I'm so pleased that it's over. Okay, so we're going to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. And until next week, see you again soon. Bye for now.